Welcome back to Axiom Verge. So last time we found out that I am actually Athetos, or at least I think I'm Athetos. There's no way I can get up there. So that was something. Now I guess I climb. Ooh, a power up. Nice. Uh, okay. I can get into that door. I can also keep going up. Whoa. Whoa, those things hurt me? I did not know that. Alright, I will avoid them. Ah. Another log. Can't seem to hit that though. Uh, I'm gonna have to jump up there and take damage, I guess. either encrypted or in a language that I can't understand. There's just something over here. Doesn't look like it on the map that I can drill through here, but you know what? I'm gonna try anyway. guys. Yep, goes right through the armor. Well, now when they're balled up, I guess. I guess the drill's probably wide enough that I'm hitting their underside also with it, so, alright. Oh, I'm close to somewhere I've been before on the map. Oh, that's where I was, that's where I had the fight against myself with the hallucination. I can keep going. I don't think I can go up there. I can't jump high enough to go up there. There's nothing... Uh... No, can't latch on. Alright, guess I gotta go this way. Whoa, what is that? It's not attacking me. Is that a uh, Rusalka? 
Alright, this is where I was before. Doesn't look like there's a way for me to go. Can I latch on to her? No, apparently not. So I'm guessing I'm missing something to, uh, that would allow me to jump higher or grapple further or something. So I guess the only way to go down is down, which means I have to go through all these enemies that I really hate, but oh well, it is what it is. Stop just falling. What the hell was that? I don't remember that being there last time. those other enemies before, or the area just actually changed. There's got to be some way to get into there, or that's probably just an exit. I do like how this whole passage I went through looks a little bit different now. Thank you. 
There we go. Ah, great, I gotta fight another one of these guys. Swing through walls, or I can phase swing. Oh shit! I can phase while I'm swinging, huh? Well, I'm glad I tried that. All right. So there are other places I could have done that at. I'll have to remember that. a more powerful version of what I had before. And this comes out here where I couldn't get to before. Okay. That's pretty slick. Oh, I can teleport up. higher up places. Alright. Let me go back up here. Let me 
least I can heal up by him. I could teleport down through here. Also, I can try. I'm not sure if it'll work, but almost. Haha! -ha! It worked. All right, but then <laughs> it is no no amount of teleporting is getting me up this. But my theory worked at least. So there's that. But I'm gonna need to, uh, something that will actually let me like climb up walls. I could teleport down here. No? Yes, I. It's too far. Hmm. Oh. That's too bad. Okay.
Come on, I know I can hit him. There we go. Looks like I have to send my drone through here. The breach. Our best conjecture thus far is that it is a force relinking of the lattices underlying adjacent universes. The breach attractor then has some capacity to shift the points at which the lattices link. The region beyond the breach remains intact, as when the breach recedes, the atmosphere and surrounding ocean don't encounter a vacuum in its absence, though there is a strong disturbance in the currents once the two sides meet again. Outside of a breach elevator, passing through the breach can be fatal. The Sudrans use this as a makeshift shield to keep out intruders, or, as in our case, to keep something else trapped in. Based on their writings, it seems that the Sudrans have long ago lost the scientific understanding of what the breach truly is, perceiving it as an intense meteorolo meteorological phenomena rather than a divider between worlds. A7 hypothesized that the breach itself is invisible and that the effect we see in the sky is in fact a protected field of microscopic elements covering the frayed ends. Interesting. Another guy down there, seeming like trapped. I wonder if it's possible to get down there. Off here and we'll explore some more for um, next time I probably want to go back towards the beginning areas of the game again because I'm sure I know there are areas there that I haven't explored yet and there's probably power-ups and stuff for me to pick up and it's clear I can't proceed up where I need to go to fight supposedly the last battle or whatever without getting something that either lets me fly or climb up walls or something 